It's that time again. Announcement time. And I know some of you are wondering, what's that get up you got on? What are you doing? We'll get to that in just a minute. Listen to me. We're going to do announcements. We're going to try to be quick. I need you to listen so you can get this information. You need this. Here we go. It's creep day. That's the get up. Show them, Nathan. There it is, right there. That's the announcement. Today, 2 o'clock, we'll be at Mount Zion. At 2.30, we're going to eat. The church is going to supply chicken and drinks. You are all coming, and y'all are going to bring the sides. Bring your towels, bring your water guns, make sure you got your shades on. It's going to be an awesome time. Come on out. It's going to be a great time in the Lord. Wonderful time to get to know some of these folks that you go to church with every Sunday. Next on our list. Nathan, I said next on our list. Come on, man. Get it. There it is. Right there. That's it. Handbells announcement. Looking for folks that want to play the handbells. Today's the last day to sign up. We've got a group of children that'll be doing it, a group of adults. You can see Miss uh, Brenda Curley. She can get you the information on the specifics of practice times and those sort of things. The children will be practicing on Wednesday nights at 530, and the adults practice on Sunday afternoons. Today's the last day to sign up. Let Miss Brenda know that you're interested if you'd like to play handbells. The next thing we've got for you, over here, up here, down, right there, is we got some folks around here that do a prayer shawl ministry. They're looking for some material to make shawls out of. If you've got some of that, you can get it to Miss Keela, you can get it to Miss Francis, and they'll know what to do with that. We're also looking for help with our uh, food vouchers. That's the way that we as a church go about helping those that are in need, those that are needing groceries or food or whatever. Uh, you can get that money to Kevin Wells or, or Miss Keeley, and they'll get it where it belongs so we can keep our food voucher ministry going. Hey, look right here. August the 28th. August the 28th. The mission team's going to be having a spaghetti lunch. Of course, you know where that money's going, right? That's right. Getting ready for a trip to Guatemala. Would love to have you stick around. Listen, you're going to eat somewhere after church, right? You may as well hang out with us. Whatever you normally spend for your family to eat, when you go out and eat on a Sunday afternoon, drop that in the bucket. And you know what? If you don't have a dime, that's okay. Stay and eat with us anyway. That's the 28th, right after services. For those of you in Awana's question of whether that will affect it in any way, it won't. What we're going to do, eat with the mission team, and then after we get through eating, I'll take the Awana's group, and we're going to go do our class time, and it'll be just like a regular Sunday afternoon for us. August the 28th, mission team. Be having a spaghetti lunch. Don't miss it. Some of the other things we do around here, uh, on uh, Wednesday nights, we gather up about 6.30 and have a prayer service. After that prayer service, we do a Bible study. Our youth and our children meet in the back. They have classes. Uh, we'd love to have you come out and be a part of that. If you think we have fun on Sunday mornings, you ought to be here on Wednesday night. Man, that's fun. Also, if you haven't done it yet, go and check out our website. We've got now where you can see the entire service, uh, praise team and all, and we'd love to see you check that out. Uh, Facebook page and all kinds of stuff going on. We're also looking for a little bit of help in our nursery. If you can do that, we've got a nursery that includes uh, toddlers and we have one for babies. That program takes place during Sunday school and also takes place during worship. So if you can do that, if you can see Miss Leanne Peterson, she'll get your name on the list and get you signed up to help. You've had a change of address in the last couple of years. There's a form in our bulletin. If you can get a bulletin, there's a form. Fill that form out. Get it to Miss Keeley. You can hand it to me and I'll get it to her. You can drop it in the offer plate when it comes by. Just a way for us to keep our records up to date. So if you've had an address change or information change in the last two years, if you would fill that out for us, please. I know this is all a little crazy and stuff, and it probably ain't what you're used to anywhere else, but that's the way we do things here at Wells Baptist Church. If you're here for the first time, don't let us scare you off. As a matter of fact, we've put a little card in the pew in front of you. If you would pick that up, fill that out, get that to myself or Brother Kevin. If you could uh, get it done before the offering plate comes by sometime, drop it in there. We'd just like to have a record of your visit, not going to use that information for any other purpose. That's all I've got for you. Glad you listened for a minute. We're going to turn it back over to the praise team. 